Oliver and his brake van Toad liked working in the big yards, but one morning, Toad noticed that Oliver was unhappy. He decided to find out why. Excuse me, Mr. Oliver. It seems to me that things are not well with you. If you'll forgive me for mentioning it. You're quite right, Toad. All I do is shut these freight cars onto the truck table. I long for a nice run. It was an engine really needs. Quite so, Mr. Oliver. May I suggest try you to speak to Sir Topper Matt about your problems? But Oliver said nothing. He grew unhappier and he was rough at the freight cars. You're no good, Oliver. You're dangerous. We want Percy. Percy's far too busy to be bothered with the likes of you. And Oliver bumped the freight car's heart straight into the turntable. You silly engine, shouted a workman. It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. That night, the Fat Controller arrived to see Oliver. Oliver, you have caused confusion. I thought you could control trucks. You shall work with a mail train. Maybe tonight I will clean your smoke box. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said Oliver sadly. Oh, cheer up, old chap. The mail run is a grand run for a fine engine like you. Oliver smiled, but he still had felt he let everyone down. His driver took them along the coastal run with the mail train. The fresh air couldn't help but brighten Oliver's spirits. They made good speed until it was time to collect some important mail from Harold the helicopter. Come on, Harold. They waited and waited until at last Harold arrived. Sorry I'm late to be lifted. Had a bit of a problem with lift one of my arms. Kept letting me down when I was uh, meant to be up. You don't know, Dave. We know that we'll be late for our first run. Soon they were on their way again and ahead was a red signal light. Oliver didn't realize that the signalman had dozed off. Oliver whistled many times, but the signal stayed red. There must be something wrong with that signal. We'll go slowly and stop by the signal box, said his driver. But they never reached it. The points before the signal box were switched to an old track. They were going the wrong way. Oliver's fireman was concerned. We need to find a water tower soon. Instead, they found an old station. And then, disaster laid ahead. Meanwhile, the fat controller was worried. I see Oliver has not returned yet. We had better set out a search party. Soon, they were high in the sky with Harold. There they are. It wasn't Oliver's fault, sir. We were sent down a wrong line. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad you are all safe. Then, he saw an old empty house beside the station. He went to inspect it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm. When he returned, he spoke to Oliver. Oliver, you have found an odd attraction for our island. We make this house as good as new, and visitors shall have tea and crumpets there. Hmm. Getting lost is interesting, but being found is much nicer. Especially when it makes an engine feel really useful. <laughs>